If you guys know what Rabbit is, you probably know it can do pretty much everything Skype chatting can do, apart from one thing, which is screen sharing. Pretty much the only thing Skype is useful for these days, especially since everyone's basically migrated over to Discord. And uh, a lot of people that I used to talk to regularly on Skype, if I really want to video chat with them, I'll do it on Rabbit. Um, but there's one thing that you can't do, like I said, it's screen sharing. Uh, until now, which is something I sort of discovered. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to discover this, but I figure this could help people out. Um, one really useful thing is the Share on Rabbit Chrome extension. Now, basically, if, like I say, if you know what Rabbit is, you know if you're watching stuff on Rabbit, it is basically a virtual computer uh, that has Firefox loaded up that you can go to any website and just use the internet but have a bunch of people watch. Um, this basically takes that idea, but instead of sharing a virtual computer that uh, you're using remotely, you can share one of the tabs you have open in your browser. This is especially useful if you want to share something like on your Facebook page, because without this, you would probably have to log into your Facebook page through the Rabbit's virtual computer, and really, who knows how secure that shit is. But uh, this is basically the most important tool we're going to have here. The second most important tool is called WebRTC Desktop Sharing. Now what this does, it's basically a screen recorder that lets you uh, share your screen and you can stream it through uh, a web link. So if you don't already, please go download these because you won't be able to do the stuff without them. So now we're going to go into our extensions and we're going to want to look at the options for the desktop sharing app. It's going to pop up with this. And I don't really recommend changing any of these settings, especially the bandwidth bitrate setting, because it's all going to get compressed once it's being streamed over Rabbit. You set your own room ID. This is pretty important. Um, you can set a password if you really want to. I never have. I don't really care. Um, but here's what you can do. Anytime you want, uh, the icon will look like a pause button. And uh, you click it, and this shows up. And so, for sharing your entire screen, you obviously leave it at your entire screen. You click share. This little window with your unique room URL will show up. And you want to copy that, and basically all you want to do is open a new tab and paste and go. And sure enough, once it loads up, you will see your screen. Hey, check that out. And just make sure you're on Rabbit, and you got the Rabbit extension going and click Start Sharing on Rabbit. And once that loads up, you know, things will be a little bit small and a little bit compressed, but you can see everything pretty much just fine. So if you wanted to use this for, like, streaming a game of Jackbox so you don't ever have to use Skype ever again, here's how you would do that. You open up Jackbox. So once you have Jackbox open, you can go back over here. If you've stopped your screen sharing, you can just click this again. Instead of clicking your entire screen, you go to Application Window, and you click Jackbox. You click Share. And so, if you haven't changed anything, your room URL will still be the same. So it'll just start streaming back to where it was. Uh, things are getting a little bit... Okay, things are back to normal. So, you can do whatever you want here, and it'll show up on the screen, even if it's minimized. So you can click Start. We can see that's loading there. From here, you can just start whichever game you want, and uh, once it gives you the code, you can go harass your friends to be like, hey, join my game. And once they're all in the rabbit room and can see your screen, you can just play it like normally. Uh, this is basically exactly the way you would play it if you were on Skype with screen sharing. Um, and this is, I think, the better way of playing Jackbox online with your friends. And so that's basically the entirety of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it helped you.